a couple of days ago, God has given this word Ezekiel 5. And I thought, oh my goodness, I'm just on my journey starting to read the scripture. But I know, then I learned as a prophet, as an apostle, as a preacher, evangelist, whenever God is telling you to do what he asks you to do it, you, didn't, you never ever want God's presence to leave you. So this is what I'm trying to say. Is even if you're scared of preaching the word that is in the Bible itself and that God tell you to do the message, do the message. Because this message is for me, not just only for whoever clicks on this video. So today I want to just give thanks and praise and say to God that I am also grateful that he still trusted me to go back and reread it. And I trust me, I listened and I listened and I listened and I thought, God... I, I understand, but because I understand there's a fear that you don't want to release this message. There's a fear that you're feeling like, okay, people are going to judge. People are going to judge no matter what happened. And this is not about me. This is about so many souls out there that have not listened in the Old Testament, even the New Testament. We are not listening to God today. God is a jealous God. And there's lots of videos on YouTube for you to understand what, what that means. God wants his word to be taught, not to my liking, not to your liking, but to his word. Ezekiel 5, even when you look at verse 10, you're like, Wow. You know, but he sends us warning. He sends us warning in the physical because the natural is still there. We're still going through such an intense spiritual warfare and most people are sleeping. I was one of those people who are sleeping thinking, okay, we're just going to keep on praying and all. No, we got to fast. We got to be true prayer warriors and intercessors. We got to pick up that Bible because there's so many people preaching against it. But why? When you're living, you're living a true doctrine life, helping your children, children, helping your family, helping. I said, Lord Jesus, be with me. Holy Spirit, be with me. Because this message is not only for today, but always no matter how many times you watch this video it is a message that it is so powerful all the prophets all the evangelist ministers know what is right they knew what to do but they led themselves to 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 fall for the people not for god god is going to reward us no matter what we decide to do good or bad and listen to what I'm trying to say because God had to go in and teach us the lessons and that's bad. We feel like it's bad for us, but the lesson is, okay, you know you shouldn't be cheating. You know you should know you shouldn't be stealing. You know you shouldn't be fornicating. You know you shouldn't be all in a lust and perversion. You know all these things. You know you should be the best version of God, not yourself, because our self will fail us. So brothers and sisters, Ezekiel 5 is a warning. It is a warning that the spiritual warfare is more than intense. You see, when you go onto other scriptures that link to it, because not everybody has read the whole full Bible. And even if you do, you when you pray and you get true revelation time and time again through the Holy Spirit, my God, my God, I know there's a lot of fear, but the fear has to be sent back to the pits of hell where it came from. God did not give us a spirit of fear, but we have so much fear because we have got so many concerns, so much worry of the worldly things. When we live inside, then you will see what I'm trying to say. Then you will, you'll be amazed. I hope this message will be an encouragement to you. Read your Bible, study it. God will never fail you. Take care. Have a really good day.